and I wouldn't want anybody's family to go through what we're going through right now. And who's to say that won't happen if they have this festival here again? The family of a woman murdered at this year's Brown Sugar Festival in Clewiston wants the event canceled for good. 20-year-old Everona Sankey was shot and killed at the festival back in May. A bullet also grazed her sister. Tonight, the family told NBC2's Gage Goulding the Brown Sugar Festival needs to end to stop the violence. And it took them 30 minutes to get down there while my baby laid there bleeding out. It's been seven months, yet every time Teresa Sankey thinks of her daughter, it's tears that come out instead of words. <sighs> she was everything. Just three days after 20-year-old Evriana Sankey was murdered, her father had a heart attack and died. Teresa says the two were inseparable in life and in spirit. I, I don't want them to forget what was taken from our family. Evriana was one of thousands at the event. That's been a community staple here in Harlem for more than 40 years. Everything has a beginning and an end, and I think it has come to its end now that it's become violent. It's that very violence that this family fears will happen again, possibly taking another life too soon. But it's just not the same because every time I come here, all I can think about is seeing her lying on the ground. That movement. <laughs> the family came to a meeting tonight to ask organizers to cancel the festival indefinitely. Instead, they learned that decision won't be made for a while. What can we tell our viewers? We don't tonight? know. We haven't made any plans. I'm not going to speak for something that they haven't even decided on. Hendry County deputies did arrest 29-year-old Lawrence Humphrey for tampering with evidence that could lead to the shooter. The person that pulled the trigger is still free tonight. Every honest mother wants that person to know just this. You're not going to know where, when, or how, but justice is coming. And she wants the committee in charge to do what she says could save lives. And I wouldn't want anybody's family to go through what we're going through right now. And who's to say that won't happen if they have this festival here again. Reporting in Hendry County tonight, Gage Golding, NBC2.